Welcome, this is Healed by Faith 2000. I'm going to try and keep it under five minutes. I got my timer counting down this time. Uh, some of the things I want to discuss is uh, Rick Warren's podcast uh, about anger and uh, the recent review I did last night, actually, of um, The Exorcist, The Believer. So, first of all, on Sunday, I had a big meltdown, uh, just uh, some rude customer service, and I just took it out on everyone around me. I'm surprised I wasn't arrested. Um Anyways, I, I was very close, I believe, to doing something very bad. And uh, it wasn't like me. When I prayed, the thing that popped into my mind was uh, the step study. So I believe that Satan was messing with me. I did uh, reach out to a lot of accountability and prayer uh, groups. And uh, many of them told me the same thing. You know, if you're leading the step study, it's no surprise that Satan is messing with you. So, um, you know... To follow up on that, uh, these past couple of days I've been listening to Rick Warren's podcast and the theme actually is exactly, the title is Love is Not Easily Angered. Today he mentioned something very interesting. He said the number one reason we don't think before we act sometimes when we're getting angry is because of alcohol. Now I was not under the influence. I had just gotten out of Saddleback Anaheim, no sorry, Saddleback Whittier Church and you're welcome to join us. It's on Laughing Well. And uh, you know, I was I was actually very happy. You know, I was just getting my lunch, but again, I believe it was that that racism where I mentioned before you know, feeling like Rosa Parks, which is I don't mean that to be disrespectful, but um because I don't know what it means, what it, what it really feels like to have that kind of discrimination. But that's what I felt. I felt discriminated. And I don't know. I guess there was enough in me that it just popped up. And it was just, uh, um, you know, it was just not characteristic of me. Now, the reason I mentioned that is because last night, moving into the second part, um, I watched, and I said I was not going to watch it, but I watched uh, The Exorcist, The Believer, and I watched some reviews first, and they seemed a very, you know, it wasn't a very impressive movie, and it wasn't. <laughs> As a matter of fact, my review, if you didn't see it, I said the scariest part was the beginning. It seemed to never end, and uh, it just kept going on and on, like the Energizer Bunny. It was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> I wanted to look at the time. I was like, are we done yet? When is this movie over? Um, I think the scariest scene, to be honest with you, was the snake. You know, if you're watching this, you probably are already saw it, or you're not going to see it. And uh, I won't. I will give it uh, the, the the circumstances away. But the snake was the scariest part. <laughs> it made me jump big time. And uh, you know, the reviewers, uh, a lot of reviewers have said that this is basically just. I forgot the new name they mentioned, but it's basically just a, a corporate. BS really what it was you know it's just like going back to the Star Wars the last trilogy it's just let's slap something together to get money and uh, they got a very good uh, cast apparently or not cast but um, uh, people to work on this you know from the Halloween uh, uh, whatever they call it the, the universe and um, it just it's just you know they have not been able no one has been able to replicate the original exorcist which apparently is like the model for a horror movie and uh, i didn't know that you know i was i was a kid when i saw it and i i don't think i've ever seen it again <laughs> so it was a very scary movie but uh, some of the things that i wanted to touch on in the movie was you know he we start off with a guy who's in um uh, Jamaica, no, not Jamaica, the word important prince, which is Haiti, with his pregnant wife. There's an earthquake, and uh, the wife basically is very seriously injured, and uh, he has to choose. You know, they tell him she's very, very injured. Um, you know, you have to choose wife or uh, unborn baby, which is a daughter. And uh, later on, all of a sudden, we see him in, uh, I don't know, New Jersey or something, rural California, not California, uh, East Coast. And uh, let me I mentioned, I didn't catch it. But the bottom line was, you know, he's raised the girl. It's 13 years later, and uh, she's basically talking to, it was just annoying teenagers. They did a good job with that. I just felt, okay, I won't get into it. But um, the girl, his daughter, uh, and they're African-American, goes with a uh, Anglo girl whose family is very um, religious, I guess. And they go into the woods. And they're seen in the surveillance camera going into the woods, and they basically, the, the, the Anglo girl teaches her how to do some kind of spiritistic thing, because the girl has a lot of grief because her mother died and she never knew her. And she wants to, to you know, reach out to her, so she takes some things, and they do this the, this thing where they summons, and of course, inadvertently, they summons demons. And uh, so from there, you know, the girls are found three days later. They supposedly went to hell, brought the demons with them. And another reviewer says, why do demons always seem to possess girls, <laughs> teenage girls? Isn't there somebody else they can possess? You know, so anyways, um, 
there was the, definitely the grief, which was the the catalyst for all of this. And uh, the reason I mentioned it, my thing in the beginning was because, you know, biblically, depending on how you... Um, how much you read the Bible, how much you know about the Bible. Keep in mind there are 30,000 religions approximately, and there's 60,000, double the amount of denominations, not churches, denominations. And just in English alone, there is over 100, slightly over 100 English translations. And uh, so, you know, there's a lot of different ways to, to interpret or to point of views. Some things are very explicit. Do not murder, okay? <laughs> and even that, you know, it's like, okay, Old Testament versus New Testament. Jesus said, love your enemies. And the, you know, but um, the, the bottom line is I, I was not, I did not feel possessed uh, <laughs> on, on Sunday when I was getting uh, very hot and angry. But, um, it, it, you know, celebrate recovery uh, is a wonderful opportunity to be able to uh, deal with a lot of these issues from grief to anger management. Uh, as a matter of fact, I got the, the, little, the little card here that they give. And I'll read it real quick because I'm already over my, oh Jesus, six minutes, sorry. So uh, anger, chemical dependency, codependency, food and body images, gambling addiction, relationship addictions, uh, mental health, mixed issues, uh, physical, sexual, emotional abuse, and PTSD. Uh, so there's a lot of things there. And, you know, the, I grant it's just a movie, but you know, when I see this, I see and I pray for a lot of people who are under, who are going through a lot of these issues. There was the neighbor who uh, basically had wanted to be a nun. She never told anyone. She ended up having sex uh, before she became a nun and aborted the child. And the, the demons brought that back to her, you know. And, you know, my aunt had, um, one of my aunts had uh, miscarriages, not abortions, but miscarriages. One time I was in the living room and uh, she was crying and my grandma and my mom were there. And later on I asked what happened. She goes, oh, it's the, the day she had a miscarriage. This was decades later. And she still remembered the day, kind of like the birthday of the, 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 you know, the day of the miscarriage. So this is stuff that needs to be dealt with. Prayer is wonderful. You know, my previous church, you know, I say Bible-thumping Christians because I'm still somewhat angry at them. They, they should have known to be there for me, and they weren't. But that's okay because Jesus brought me back to celebrate recovery, which is exactly where I needed to be. And, uh, you know, so anyways, uh, the last part which I wanted to touch on was they brought in the two original... I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I should have said they brought in one. But at the end, they bring in both the mother and the daughter from the original Exorcist. So apparently they're doing a trilogy on this movie I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't call this a horror movie. I wouldn't call it a comedy uh, <laughs> like the horror too. Uh, I'm sorry, the nun too. But anyways, uh, there was that estrangement where the mother uh, from the original Exorcist, the you know the girl decides she doesn't want to have anything to do with the mother and she just takes off. And uh, so again, you know, the, dealing with these issues, how are you gonna how are you gonna handle it? You need you need a step study. Okay. So anyways, like subscribe and uh, I apologize. I went over three minutes. Um, you know, please look for a celebrate recovery near you and start a step study.